alors, ou celui pour de, demander aussi. Mais je crois que Nini voudrait très bien le faire euh, en anglais, si ça ne vous gêne pas. Ça va Si tu, tu veux le faire en, euh, en anglais. Yeah. I say it in English. <laughs> uh, Nini, why did you start dancing uh, Why I started dancing <laughs> When I started to go to a ballet school, like children do, I was 10 years old. And the teacher who was there, after I was 11, 12, saw that I was very interested. I lived only for my dance. The school work, you know, was pss, 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 pss. <laughs> yeah. Dance, 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 and dance. So finally, they thought I could come into the opera Royal, like your opera in Paris, as a pupil. And I made an audition, and they said, oh, 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 her bra and her fun, oh, so beautiful, beautiful. There came a doctor, a doctor. You know what a doctor is? Medicine. And he looks through here, okay, here, fine, here, perfect. Here, good, here, good, here, good, here, good, here, good. Okay? No. She will never become a dancer with those feet. They are too small, too long. The toes are too long. And the, the, the foot is too weak. You know? I don't see. So what's the point? But they said, look here, take her to France, to your country. There are, at that moment, there was a revolution <coughs> in Russia. <coughs> and all the big dancers that could come out of Russia came to France, as you know. As you know. And started schools all over France. <coughs> And there was one school who they said was one of the very, very best, uh, Madame uh, Lugo, uh, Lugo uh, Igorma. Igorma. So Mommy and I went to Paris, and we went to see Madame Igorma, and she said, I'm sorry, but I never take children. I was only 12. I only take, not even pupils. What I do is like you do today, train, 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 Make them dance, make them dance, make them dance. She's too young, she will never be able to. <coughs> but I have a pupil who broke her foot. <laughs> who broke her foot and she cannot she cannot dance anymore, but she is such a good teacher and she is my assistant, Madame Ebola said. Can your daughter have lessons from her? And mommy said, oh, yes, of course. So she came, Luba. No, no, sure. Well, Luba. Nadia. 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 Came twice a day in the morning and in the afternoon and gave me the hard Russian school twice a day. Six times a week. Oh, oh. Twice a Saturday. Twice a day, yes. That means four hours a day. In the meantime, I had to have a, uh, have a mademoiselle who taught me mathematics and geography and all these kind of things that you all learn in school. And uh, so I had the whole day occupied. I never had children to play. Never. Never. I didn't know how to play. I only knew how to dance, how to learn, and finally, I said to my mother, look here. Now I've had lessons for years. I want to use what I've learned. And my mother said, all right, have you got a fantasy? Have you got any idea what you want? Yes. I had, shh, secretly. 
made a paper with all the things that I wanted to, to do and to dance. And Mami and Nadia, of course Nadia, Madame Igorba also saw that paper and said, ah, let's see, let her try. Give her one and a half lesson, go away, leave her alone with her pianist or with a gramophone. At that time it was a gramophone with a <laughs> disc, you know. Disc. And let her make her own dances. And I did. So finally, I had ten dances, five and five, different. And somebody saw that and said, but that's extraordinary because she's a good dancer. She's a normal, good dancer. But her fantasy is so extraordinary because each dance is like a piece of theatre. Like a piece of in movement. And it became known, and uh, how it is, you know, costumes made, perruque made, manga made, everything was made. And I like, for instance, this. This I have had, I have to buy. If I stand short, <coughs> and what they wanted to do, they bought. They wanted to buy me. So I had an agent, and he prepared a tournée in Holland, in Germany, in South Leyen, in, in Paris, and in Madrid. A whole evening, five dances, intervallo, where the pianist was a pianist, and after that, five dances. For so many years. In the meantime, I had to dance in a theater, in a play. I had to dance with the Ballet Russe, Howl, and so on. So I have been dancing for my tenth year, and I'm 90. How old am I? 95. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say eight, but it's five. Yeah. Is it eight or five? Five. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, five, no. So for 10 years, till now, I'm occupied with you. So I hope you understand, to become a dancer, you have to love it. You have to sacrifice, you have to sacrifice quite a lot. You must be careful how you live. You must be careful how your mentality, because one day suddenly you say, I hate dancing. Oh, oh, that, 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 that. Go ahead, get it out of your body, because after one week, 10 days, you will come back and say, I love it, I love it, I love it. How many times have you said, I, you know? And mommy and my mother always say, relax, 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 relax. And then she took me to a theater. I saw the I saw the Zinsky dance, I saw um, Marco, and I, I saw all these big dancers dance. So I came back, I opened my eyes again, and everything was okay. But you must love it. You must love it. If not, do it. It's for fun. It's a good thing for your body. But if you want to become a professional, you must know life is difficult. In every way, artistically, financially. Are you, is your body prepared to be used so many years? You don't have to be <laughs> 95. You can stop when you're 60, 50. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> all of you don't have to say to marry them yet. <laughs> no. So don't forget children. Love it, <coughs> love it, love it. And have a good day today. Absorb 
you, the teacher said to you, had no, they are modern, 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 contemporain. Huh? But don't forget your classical school, ever. The base of all dance is the classical school. After that, your body is prepared for all these things that you learn today, tonight, for instance. But don't forget your classical train, your bamboo, your floor, and, <coughs> and be good, and I see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>